Hey everybody, this is Ben from T3, bringing you another Top 8 game from the Shuffle and Cut Store Championships that took place on January 9th. On the right, we have John D'Alessandri playing Engine HB Engineering the Future, and on the left, we have Raphael playing Kate. Um, this is another Top 8 game. This is before the Most Wanted list came out. Uh, so we have a lot of options here. It looks like John already took his mandatory draw. Uh, I believe that's two agendas and three ice in his hand. So I expect here that uh, we're just going to see some ice up. And John just going for the uh, going aggressive here right off the bat, trying to put in or trying to go up and get a couple of points here uh really forcing kate to see if she has the answers that she needs and uh that first click sure gamble always a good play to to go up and get a little bit of money the only thing that might be a little bit better is playing a prepaid first but uh that's that's kind of up for debate <laughs> and uh opting to to go check that remote seeing a next uh, a next bronze, which is something that you certainly didn't see a whole lot before the most wanted list came into effect. We're seeing it here. John might be prepping to uh, completely switch his deck over to more of a next oriented build, uh, which is really, really good when you don't have to worry about or when the threat is of Parasite is much, much lower. Um, and uh, John is just going to pump that agenda out. Uh, it looked like it's an accelerated beta test, which John is firing, and uh, he's going to get two next silvers, uh, trying to decide where he wants those icing up R a HQ and the remote. So now he has, uh, see, that, and that's exactly why these next ice are good. Now he has a uh, strength, or two uh, sent, uh, two barriers that have three end the run subroutines, and a strength three code gate that has an end the run subroutine and that code gate is really like the biggest threat it's the cheapest kind of the entry level for these uh for these next suites except you can get that thing up to crazy crazy strengths very very quickly uh and kate i believe this is still on john's turn technically uh pops the Raphael, excuse me pops the smc goes to get the opus saves a buck with kate's ability um and getting the Opus is an interesting play here. I have a feeling like this is not the typical prepaid K-Tech that we are used to seeing here. Uh, with an, Well, it's definitely not with, uh, with Magnum Opus here. This might be, uh, I, I think this kind of signals uh, an, uh, maybe a Security Nexus variant or maybe... Uh, I honestly don't even know what's more likely. You don't really see Opus and Kate anymore. Okay, in this rabbit hole, I think... Uh, doing that basically uh, locks in that this is a security nexus deck uh, between the Opus and the Rabbit Hole. I believe uh, Raphael just clicked Opus three times and then went and Rabbit Holed out. So uh, Rock and Four Link Link now, and John is taking advantage uh, advantage here of the deck and installing another agenda in that server along with an upgrade that I'm sure is going to protect it. Um, and Raphael. Tempo-wise here, uh, I think Raphael is at a serious disadvantage. Uh, John just has way more tempo, keeping the hand with at least one agenda in, in the beginning uh, and, you know, rocketing out the, uh, uh, rocketing out that accelerated beta test, uh, I, I think is, is really put John ahead here. Um, uh, and Raphael did have to use an SMC. So Raphael needs to dig for for an answer here and meanwhile john is just pumping out these these agendas so john's up i believe this is the third yeah this is john's third turn he has four points three rest ice uh only a dollar but that's really not a big deal uh, on the other side meanwhile Raphael does have his rabbit holes out he has his magnum opus out but the key to his deck uh, i see an hq interface in hand um and a, a clone chip there so that clone chip is good he can get the smc back um you know kind of start putting a little bit of pressure oh another clone chip awesome okay so between the clone chips and the opus and the smc uh Raphael can put a lot of pressure on john but ah uh, man john just installing another card in that remote uh and and Raphael just doesn't have the money uh i don't think if if Raphael wanted to get in that server it's going to be a click to run and he's got to get money. He needs at least, I'm assuming he plays a lady, uh, Code Gates, either Zoo or 
uh, Gordian Blade, and uh, both of those options are expensive. You, you know, uh, less less down on Zoo, um, but it's going to cost more to break in the long run. And uh, Gordian's a lot more to put down, but it um, uh, but it does save a little bit of money, especially if John stacks another next goal or next bronze on that remote. Uh, but Luckily for Raphael, John just reses the Adonis campaign. Uh, I say lucky, but that's, you know, Adon Rest Adonis is better than going up 6-0 against Kate. Um, and, Raf uh, and Raphael did just click for a bunch of money. So John's going to try and get his economy back rolling a little bit. Raphael, meanwhile, has a bunch of money. Uh, I do see a stim hack in Raphael's hand. Uh, there's a Plascrete, which I don't think is going to be useful at all. And uh, a couple of other things there I cannot quite make out. Uh, meanwhile, John is just going to build up uh, that remote a little bit. Obviously, no breaker bay, although with two other upgrades, uh, it wouldn't be out of the realm possibility for that to be a Ash and Caprice. Uh, and if, if that's the case, even if Raphael does get his security nexus up uh, and running and able, you know, a security nexus and a breaker and can start making runs through that server very, very cheaply, uh, he does still have to contend with the Psy game, uh, which is going to make it very difficult. I know, I, I uh, can't recall if security nexus is a uh, anytime, I believe it's just once a turn, um, but modding, modding, modded, modding, I don't know, getting out that security nexus for, for a discount with Kate's ability only costs four, which is super good. But that is, I'm pretty sure, a once-per-turn ability. So, uh, Raphael really can't put repeated pressure on John's remote, uh, even once he gets set up. So, Raphael really needs to hope to catch John in a, uh, a disadvantaged spot, or at least maybe when he's a little bit poor. John icing up that remote even further. I couldn't make out what it is. I do see an architect and a, a Jackson and two other pieces of ice in John's hand. So, these the uh the next silver over hq is a great play if uh, if Raphael really wants to get in it's going to cost him at least a couple lady counters or some money uh and he's just going to whiff or uh you know see a jackson which i'm sure john is not really worried about uh that adonis is rolling he's just starting to get money uh Raphael opus a handful of times and then going for the hq interface so we might be seeing uh, uh Raphael here set up to start running hq Okay, yep, so he opus twice, uh, then then did everything, and he is security testing, or not, <laughs> security nexusing, excuse me. Uh, we see the Turing and uh, the Architect and uh, nothing more. So uh, Raphael's wasting, uh, well, not wasting, I should say, but he's uh, spending a lot of extra clicks and money just kind of getting into a server even though there's not going to be a lot of payoff i think he did need to do that that was important you need to at least check and make sure that hp is not trying to sneak out an agenda or just like waiting for the adonis to empty before he goes back in and dumps things off um and john installed the jackson and a piece of ice i have a feeling like that is probably an next bronze um maybe an next silver uh, just to kind of make all of his other next better. Uh, that is kind of one of the benefits to uh, these next decks. Um, and Raphael opuses for a bunch of money. And John hard resing the Eve. So it wasn't Jackson, obviously. I was wrong. Um, and just John opting to get his money uh, going even harder. Uh, I'm not sure if this is something... Honestly, I haven't played a lot of security nexus kate so i'm not sure what it's really looking for to me it seems like it has everything it needs with the exception of some breakers uh john does have a lot of ice on remote on uh, the rem scoring remote and r d uh so Raphael is going to need more than just that security nexus however he does have the clone chips and the smc in the trash so Raphael pretty much has his entire deck uh at his disposal and with, uh, with all of his money in the Magnum Opus, it's not a huge tempo hit for, excuse me, for Raphael to, uh, you know, start to SMC out a bunch of stuff, especially since he's been spending the last couple turns opusing aggressively. And here you go, gaining six credits again, so that's three clicks to, uh, <laughs> to opus up, and stim hacking the remote. So this, uh, so Raphael is 
clearly going for the money approach with his deck. He's, uh, I believe that's like 20 credits that he has before the stim hack, so about 29. That was a silver, so two silvers is going to make it so it costs two lady, actually two lady counters per silver. So that's an entire lady for Raphael to get in the server once. Um, so if that is an Ash, or is a Caprice, excuse me, in the remote, then John basically can guarantee that it is extremely taxing um, in order, yeah, so, okay, much, uh, that's a, a much better play, although it is going to be super expensive. Uh, so with the admin in play, it's going to cost four credits per silver. So just to get into that remote, it's going to cost four, eight, plus whatever code gate breaker Raphael has. I didn't quite make it out and see what he had in his deck. Uh, I really have the feeling that he's going to be playing Gordian Blade in a deck like this, um, just with the prevalence of Turing and with these next bronze that are starting to come alive again. Um, I really, really expect that uh, that we'll, we'll see a, a Gordian Blade here, which is going to be extremely taxing. Uh, I believe John... John's... Oh, I see. So, Raphael's security nexusing one one of the... Uh, one of the ice here. Oh, so, so in security nexus, the next bronze, instead of trying to clone chip out something else, and John did not res any of his stuff, and Raphael is just clearing out the remote. So we had a Sand Sand, kind of an interesting include. Uh, I would assume then that it looks like John's pretty clearly trying to fast advance stuff out. That's information that is extremely useful to Raphael. Uh, and now he can kind of, if he sees an install advance advance, he does know to, to go and get the clot. So that was previously a threat that John could uh, could use. Um, using install advance advance to threaten out a global food and then just go ahead and res the sand sand since he has the priority as long as that second advancement counter is played. So now that's another thing that Raphael needs to keep in mind moving forward, uh, just to kind of keep the pressure on John and make sure John cannot just start sneaking things out. Uh, it is a lot of influence for San San. I believe that's three on the card. Uh, so we can kind of start keeping track of that. I doubt John plays any less than two. Uh, so we know at least a nine influence, including uh, my presumption that John plays three Jacksons. Uh, knowing John as I do, I feel like that's a safe bet. So I'm going to go with that. Um, and John icing up over our, uh, over the remote even harder. I feel like that's going to be a Turing, um, just because that's a great card. If it's not a next card, Turing makes sense. Uh, and that Eve is continuing to click down money and John is just able to spend these turns building slowly and with that Jackson now uh, John can start filtering out his draws a little bit more trying to go get the Caprice and the Ash again to load up that remote uh, which John is also threatening uh, a score here and if if that is an agenda and John can get up to six put and Raphael have zero uh, I'm not sure if uh, if Raphael is going to have a really great answer to that out of this deck. As I said, I I, I might be shortchanging Raphael's deck a little bit. I'm not that familiar with Security Nexus Kate. Um, however, it based on his board state, I do know Raphael can get anything out, and uh, he has all, all the money in the world. But John is doing an excellent job of just putting pressure everywhere. Uh, Raphael can't possibly security nexus every single server. Uh, Raphael does have the link answers. Looks like install, advance, advance. And here it goes. So John's threatening out the win now. Uh, if that's a global food, uh, which I feel like it probably is, John has no reason to play that aggressively uh, if it's anything else. Uh, and over top, that's... So, okay, immediately Raphael just gains six bucks and running the remote. He has to. Uh, we get another next bronze res, and that's so taxing. This is why I expect you're going to see a lot of uh, next play after in the post uh, most wanted list world um, because you can get situations like this where it is extraordinarily taxing. I mean, two next bronzes, his best bet is going to be either a Guardian Blade or a I guess a torch or a cyber cipher. Um, I, we can pretty much rule out torch here. Uh, so a cyber cipher or a Gordian blade over zoo. And uh, 
and the Atman to get through those next silvers. But even if it's the most efficient, we're going to assume, I guess we'll assume a Cyber Cypher here uh, because Raphael really needs to be able to get into this remote. Uh, it's going to cost him one, two, three, four to get through the two bronzes, uh, 14 total credits just to get into that server to see what those cards are. Um, in counting here, it looks like Raphael only has 13 credits. Uh, so I don't think Raphael can can really threaten threaten this this server and, and reasonably get in. So if this is uh, a global food, that that might be the game here. Raphael is going for it uh, to to at least force the force the play here, uh, getting the self modifying code and spending two to pitch it. I'm not sure what he's going for. And e even if Raphael does decide to security Nexus here, so he does go for the Cyber Cipher for two, which, yeah, so Raphael doesn't have the money to get through all of these servers. Uh, but if Raphael decides to security Nexus here, John is safe. He does have more money than, than uh, Kate at this stage in the game. Uh, it's just cost Kate so much money to get into this remote so many times and check with Atman. Uh, it's just an expensive server. Uh, John was able to get those next silvers up very, very quickly. And, uh, you know, there isn't a good way for Kate to do it. Or is, you know, Lady, I guess is good, but Lady kind of restricts you. And especially right now, it would cost you three counters just to get through one of those next silvers. And here we go, we see John advance, 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 the global food for the win. That is all the coverage I have for top eight. I do have more store championship games coming up soon. Catch you next time.